Hey, Edgewater Alliance Church, Dave Lane here. It's uh, Thursday, April 2nd. Wanted to catch you up on uh, some things. First of all, uh, we uh, are hoping you're engaging with the uh, First Peter content. Today's Thursday, so today would be chapter four. And we're just really encouraging you to dig in each day uh, with this uh, no huddle play call of being on the same page, reading through First Peter. And uh, finding in this very timely uh, epistle, uh, real good instruction uh, for the strange times we're living in. And now uh, it's Thursday, so tonight at midnight starts the stay at home uh, order from our governor. And uh, I wanted to give you a little perspective from First Peter uh, on, on that and uh, encourage you to look at First Peter chapter 2. And I'll just read that for us. Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether to kings or as one in authority, or to governors as sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and the praise of those who do right. For such is the will of God that by doing right you may silence the ignorance of foolish men. Act as free men and do not use your freedom as a covering for evil, but use it as bond slaves of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, Fear God, honor the king. So keep in mind that um, Peter's writing this to people who are under the authority of the emperor, and he's doling out harsh persecution to those that are scattered throughout what today we would call Turkey, uh, where those receiving letters, uh, the letter from Peter, uh, are dispersed. And so in light of that uh, context, that in the midst of severe persecution from authority, Peter's still encouraging them to submit to authority as an opportunity to be a light and be a witness. So that's my encouragement to you. Uh, we're in a much different situation. Our governor has issued this uh, stay-at-home place for our well-being. It's not by any means uh, persecution. And so uh, we are honoring that as a church, and we're encouraging you, church family, to honor that. Uh, and then for those that are not able to stay at home because they are in the medical field or supporting infrastructure and uh, the list goes on, uh, we need to be praying for those people. We need to be encouragement to those people. Um, for those of you who are going to find it very difficult uh, sheltering at home uh, as it relates to continuing the education of your children and uh, dealing with struggles that might um, emerge all the more being in tight quarters over long periods of time, uh, we are sympathetic to your struggle. And I just want you to know, we're praying for you as a church family, uh, as church leadership. Uh, we're here for you. Um, there's opportunity for you to share your needs with us. Uh, we have a care team that helps with shopping. Uh, as God is using you in the lives of others, there's an opportunity for you to share your story uh, on my story at edgewateralliance.org. Um, upload that. Uh, here's the reality, EAC. Uh, while I recognize it may be a crisis for you to shelter in place or stay at home for the next 30 days, um, I think uh, the bigger crisis is still coming. Uh, the bigger crisis, uh, as more and more people get sick and as the fallout of that hits, is an opportunity for the church to not be caught flat-footed, but to engage. Engage as conveyors of hope to be servants, to show love, to care for the marginalized. This is an opportunity for the church to shine, for us to be a source of hope and life and encouragement uh, in the midst of a time that is really uh, unprecedented. And so my encouragement to you is uh, to allow your identity to shift uh, as the church, uh, to be the church. We want to fuel you in that, and so um, we do have a message this Sunday uh, that we're going to bring to you from First Peter um, in our Hope for the Scattered series. So I'll be live streaming this Sunday, 10.30 a.m. from my home, uh, and I encourage you to tune in. Um, uh, we want you to dig into the well uh, on a daily basis uh, so that you have water to offer others. Uh, go to the source so that you can be a channel of blessings. Jesus is in control. He is an apprehensive. 
He has a plan. And you can trust him. Now go be the church.